Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to provide a short demonstration of how you can set up a data set in Stata using the command line. So uh, this is probably best used in those cases where you have a, a rather small data set. Under most circumstances um, if I'm working with a larger data set and I was setting it up I would be probably uh, typing the data into Excel and then importing it into uh, Stata. But nevertheless, you can set up a small data set very easily in Stata just from the command line. So this is how we're going to do it. First off, what I need to do is to uh, utilize an input command in order to create the variables in my data set. So I'm going to go down to the command line uh, at the bottom of the screen here and I'm going to type in input. Following that, I'm going to type in the names of my variables. So I'm going to type in gender ID, year, achieve, and I'll type in str5 and then uh, follow that up with a UNIV. So just briefly, what we're going to be doing is creating uh, several variables here. We have gender identification, year in school, that's the year variable. We have student achievement, that's the achieve variable, and then also the university that a student is associated with. And this university variable is going to be a string variable. So that's why I've preceded that with str. And the 5 is just giving the, the maximum length uh, of, the, um, of the name uh, that we're going to be inputting. So actually, I'm going to be using uh, fairly uh, short names. But that's essentially what's going on. So when I uh, hit enter, you'll see that it says input, gender ID, year, achieve, and so forth. So this is just the command line uh, shown again. And then you'll see that we have the names of our variables. And then line one is shown right uh, on this right here. So we're going to go to command. And then we start typing in our data. So we're going to type in first, uh, I'm, I'm going to code gender identification zero for a student identifying as male, one for a student identifying as female. So on the command line, I'm going to type in for the first student zero space one space 81 for the achieve variable. And then for university, I'm going to type in OU. So Notice that the values that I'm typing in have spaces between them for one, uh, so that we're representing a value on each variable in that row. So I'll hit enter and so now you see them show up. Now it looks like they're all appearing underneath this gender ID variable but that's not actually accurate. Um, the zero is just the 0, 1, 81 and OU just are not aligned underneath the columns there but they are uh, values for each of those variables. If I want to maybe space things out a little bit I can very easily do that. I'm going to go to the next row and type one space space actually just several spaces one then I'll type in 90 and then uh, OU uh, next so I'll type in OU there and then when I hit enter you can see it's, it's still not very much aligned but um, it's a little bit better than what we had before so if that helps you out a little bit more you can do that or you can just enter in on that first line uh, as we did just making sure that there's a space so on the we'll go to the next line we'll type in zero I'm just gonna uh, just use one space in between so actually, let me kind of go back over here. We're going to type in 0 to 78, and then we'll type in uh, UA. And let me kind of make sure that this is a 0 and not a, um, an O. So now we've got that in. So that's line 3 right there. Then the next row, we've got 1, 1, 85, and then UA there. 1, Three. And now let's assume that we have missing data on this uh, for this next case for the achieve variable. So to uh, indicate that, I'm just going to type in a period and then a space and then go to the next uh, variable, which is, and we're going to type in UT. Then we'll type in uh, 0, 2, 95, and then we'll type in a UT, or excuse me, 95 and a UT. And then we'll type in 1, 4, 77, and a period. Uh, let's just say we don't have the student's university. I'm just typing in a period at the end on that line. And then we'll type, let's just say that the eighth person, we don't have their gender identification. So I'll type a period, space, 4, 70, and then I'll type in OU there. So once we've typed all of our 
uh, variables and data in. Next, I'm going to uh, type end. So we'll type end right here and hit enter. And so that ends the input command. So at this point, we can actually uh, you know, generate various uh, uh, descriptives or tabulate uh, various things and so forth very easily um, just by using some of the standard commands. So I'm going to type in, just to give you an example, I'm going to type in TAB for tabulate and we'll type in gender ID and enter. And so now you can see that we have uh, essentially a frequency distribution. So remember I was saying that zero is associated with persons identifying as male, one indicating persons identifying as female. And so you can see we have the frequency counts for individuals in our data set that represent each of those categories. And you'll see that we, right here we have seven. We had eight cases that we input into um, into uh, Stata, but one of those cases uh, did not, uh, we did not have a value for gender identification. So that's why you have seven. This is basically your, your uh, uh, total effective sample size uh, with respect to the gender identification variable. And then you can see that we have the percentages of cases or the, uh, that uh, is associated with each of those categories out of the seven uh, cases. So there you go. So now let's do the same thing for year. So I'll just type in tab year and so now you can see in this case we had eight cases that are uh, represented. Uh, there were no missing values for any of the year uh, variable. And so again, we have frequency counts and percentages and so forth. If for the achieve variable, I'm going to treat this as a quantitative variable. So I'm just going to type in uh, SUM for summary, summarize, excuse me. And so I'll type in sum and then achieve. And so now you can see I get there were seven observations. Uh, we had one case with missing data on that variable. There's the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum and maximum values for that variable. And then for university, it was our string variable. I'm going to uh, use the tab uh, command right here, and then we'll type in uh, the UNIV. And so there you go. And so you can see in this case, um, with the tab command, you can see that that one period is representing the missing uh, value on that particular variable for one of those cases. And then you can see that we had three cases for OU, two for UA, and two for UT. Okay, so going back and looking at our gender ID variable right here, you can see that we just have values of 0 and 1, and that assumes that if I come back to the data set later that I'm going to know what 0 and 1 are. Um, and so what I might want to do is to affix value labels so that instead of reading as 0 and 1, I might want to um, indicate whether a person is identified as male uh, or female. So that's uh, the way to think about it. And really quickly before I show you how to affix uh, value labels, I will show you that we can look at the actual data itself uh, by going under the data editor. So you can see there's a little icon up here at the top of this screen that says data editor, uh, edit. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that there's our gender ID variable, there's our year variable, achieve, and there's uh, our university variable for our eight cases. So what we're going to do though is we're going to change the numbers. The numbers are, are still going to represent the categories, but we're instead of having numbers uh, represented right here, we're going to have the labels shown. So to do that, I'm going to go down to the command line again, and in this case I'm going to type in label define and then I'm going to type in, uh, essentially it's going to be an object that contains a rule for affixing uh, the labels to the values on our variable. So I'm going to type in zero space male and then space one space female. So in this case, what's going to happen is, like I said, I'm creating, oh, excuse me, before I do that, though, I also need to have an object name. So I'm going to call this gend label. So there we go. So you can see, basically, we're setting it up. We have label, define, and then the name of an object that contains the rule. And the rule is, for cases that have a value of zero, we're going to um, affix a label for male. And then for cases with a value of one, we're going to affix female. So now what I'll do is I'm going to hit enter and so now we've established kind of an object if you will that contains that rule and now I want to affix 
um, those uh, those labels to my values on my gender identification variable. So to do that, I'm going to type in label space values space, and then I'm going to type in the name of my original variable, which is gender ID space, and then I'm going to type in the name of that object that contains that rule. So I'm going to type in gend label right there. So you can see once again this is where we're establishing the the object that contains the rule and then now we're late we're going to actually uh, assign the labels by to our gender identification variable using that rule. So that's what's going on right here. So when I hit enter now we have the labels affixed. So if you want to go into the data editor right here you can see that now it says male, female, male, female, and so forth. Notice too though that up here at the top it's got zero for male and one for female. So the values are still in there but now instead in your data set we have the labels represented instead of the uh, values themselves. And so if I type in tab uh, for instance in gend gender ID and hit enter now you can see that uh, my frequency distribution we have the va the uh, value labels shown instead of the actual values of 0 and 1 and you'll also see I could use the uh, describe command right here and then type in gender ID and basically the the describe command is kind of giving some general information about the nature of the variable you know how it's um, how it's uh, represented and so forth. So you got the variable name right here is telling you storage type is float and so forth. But then you can see value label this column right here and so this is the um, the uh, object name if you will that contains that rule and so that's why that's showing up right there. So now let's do another one. Let's do a uh, year in school. So in this case uh, the first thing I need to do is to again kind of create an object with that rule and then we're going to fix it to the uh, year variable so or fix our labels to the year variable so I'm going to start off with label space define space and then I'll just type in year and then we'll just uh, I'll just call it label I mean it's an arbitrary naming of that object but I'm going to call it year label and then I'm going to type in one space and we'll say freshman space two uh, then we'll do sophomore three junior and four uh, senior okay so now I've created the rule and now I want to affix those value labels so I'm going to type label values and then the name of my original variable which is year and then the name of that um, that rule or the object that contains that rule. So remember that our that object is year label and then we'll hit uh, enter there and so once again if we want to go back in to our data editor now you can see that for our year variable we have those values la value labels represented but if we go back and we actually uh, uh, go into a, an individual cell you can see that the value for freshmen is one for sophomores is two for juniors is three and for uh, seniors is four now another command that you might find helpful is the drop command so every once in a while let's say you want to drop a variable out of your uh, data set you can easily do that by using a drop command so I think what I'm going to do at this point is let's say I don't want to use the uh, you know OU UAUT but let's say I want to have a more descriptive label for my university variable okay and let's say that uh, let's let's just say that I want to get rid of um, that university variable and then uh, create um, a, a coding system uh, where one would represent say the University of Oklahoma to the University of Alabama three the University of Texas so what I'm going to do in this case is just kind of show you the use of the drop command so if I type drop and then I type in UNIV that's our university variable um, uh, that we have in our data set that's this variable right here uh, UNIV so if I type in UNIV and enter it drops that variable out okay and so now uh, let's say that I want to create a new univ variable but in this case we're going to use numerical codes and then we're going to assign our value labels so to do that what I'm going to do is use the input command again so I'm going to type in input 
and then I'm going to type in UNIV and now we're going to be creating this new variable so I wouldn't be able to use the input command and UNIV had I not dropped that original variable so um, and ordinarily I probably would have just created a new variable instead of dropping this one and just name the new variable something and then gone with that but nevertheless we're just going to go ahead and input value um, values of one two or three for these three universities for the cases so uh, the one is representing again row one in our data set so that's person one or student one so let's just say that that person is uh, and a uh, University of OU, o Oklahoma student. So I'll type in one for that. The second person is a uh, University of Oklahoma student. So we'll type in one there. The third person is University of Alabama. We'll type in a two there. Uh, the next person is University of Alabama. Then we have uh, University of Texas, University of Texas. And then let's say, uh, going back to uh, row seven, that individual does not have a university information so we'll make that missing so I'm going to type in a period and then enter and then the next person is University of Oklahoma so we'll type in a one for that person and then you'll notice that it terminated right there in terms of so we didn't actually have to type in end and that's because the uh, original length of the um, uh, variables is eight because of what we had already entered before so there you go so now that's in, that's done. So now what we're going to do is type in label define, and then I'm going to type in uh, univ label, and then we're going to type in uh, the values followed by what the labels are going to be. So I'm going to type in uh, one space. Now, if I want to type in something like University of Oklahoma and have spaces, then what I want to do is to include quotation marks. So I'm going to type in a quotation mark, then University of Oklahoma, and you can see that we have our spaces between those, um, those words. Then we'll type in two space and then University of Alabama in quotation marks, and then three uh, we have quotation marks and then University of Texas. All right. So now when we hit uh, enter, we've now established a new uh, object that contains that uh, the, the rules, which is and that object is University label or Univ label, so to speak. So now we're going to affix those uh, value those labels to the values in our data set, which again in our data set is just ones, twos, and threes. At this point, if we go back under data editor, you can see we just have the ones, twos, and threes uh, that are represented. So now I'm going to go ahead and affix by typing in label values. Then uh, we're going to type in uh, UNIV for UNIV and <laughs> for our university variable. And then we're going to type in the object name. So we're going to type in UNIV label. So that's that, again, that's our rule, and we'll type, uh, we'll hit enter, and so now when we go under our data editor, you can see that we have uh, under uh, the univ variable, we have University of Oklahoma, University of Oklahoma, University of Alabama, and by the way, again, there's one, the the uh, value of one associated with the label University of Oklahoma, the value of two is associated with the University of Alabama, and then the value of three is associated with um, the University of Texas and once again if I want to um, utilize the tabulate command I'll just type in tab you can also type in tabulate uh, that works too and if we type in U UNIV uh, right there it, uh, there you go so now you can see we have University of Oklahoma University of Alabama represented University of Texas again there were only seven um, cases that had uh, university information associated with them. So that's why the seven is represented right here in our frequency distribution. Okay, so that uh, pretty much wraps up this video demonstration on setting up a small data set in Stata using the uh, command line. And what I'll do is I will include a link underneath the video description to um, a document that contains the information. So if you want to practice uh, entering the data, then uh, you should be able to do that with, uh, based on the data in that document. So it's just going to uh, reproduce everything in terms of the actual data that I've just went over. 
So uh, I appreciate you watching, and you guys have a great day.